so hello everyone welcome again and uh, today i'm going to show you how you can configure your maven project i'm sorry your machine or if you get some project if you want to buy a project if you want to take project from code1.com so you can take the project and after taking the after the taking this project how can you configure the maven project these projects at your machine so i'm going to show you the step by step process for that so just follow me uh, for example if you want this project online pharmacy management project so once you con you will contact us with the this detail uh, this contact details so we'll provide the source code to you so how can you use that source code and your machine how can you install step by step so the file uh, you can read the, i will share the link uh, in the below description box for the configuration java web project configuration so in this you need to follow these steps one by one so step by step you will easily able to configure the project and here i'm adding some uh, error scripts like if you uh, what kind of difficulties you will face in the at the time of configuration so maybe there will be some errors so how to solve them error as well so i will cover all the things in detail so uh, the very first step let's start the configuration and the, the very first step you can see uh, install jdk development kit it means jdk so you can download jdk and uh, from the oracle website so if you uh, scroll down you will get uh, in the market the jdk 12 is available right now but we, our, our project will run fine on the 1.8 jdk so you can install uh, 1.8 also if you have and um, the next thing you need to follow download jdk 1.8 from the below link so uh, here is the link and when you click on the link you will get this rar file and this is the drive you can download from the official site as well as well, as well uh, but uh, there you need to uh, right now these days they change some process so you, you have to register there and you have to log in there so you can download the drive from, from the drive also so this is the drive file once you click on the download you will get the download click on the download anyway and you will get the RAR file over there so the downloading is start I'm not going to download it because uh, I have already this so we'll see where is it is so T drive which is Java. Java so here I have this at U and B on window on JDK for the window 64 so I can install this so how will uh, how can I install in my machine so I'm gonna I think I have already this so I think I have already this so I need to uninstall this first then I will show you how step by step how can uh, you install so how to check how can you check what kind of JDK is installed in your machine so just you need to go on the C drive inside the C drive if you are using the Windows 64 bit you just need to go a program file just switch the program file and just take the Java folder here open this Java folder and check the ZDK 1.8.0 uh, or something which version are you whatever version are you using it will show there so you just need to check this and you can check by the command prompt also so you need to for the to run the command in the command prompt you need this kind of uh, set up your path is not set uh, so you can go here and open the cmd and you can check the cd and just move on that particular path where your jdk is installed and so you just search in the drive and now you need to run the java c file so you can see in the java is installed uh, clearly and i think java version for the version to check the version that's not there i think we manage we i'm not sure the command so you can check the command how to check the version so you can pa pass this command here and uh, so right now in my system the uh, jdk is installed so i'm gonna uninstall this first and then i will show you how to install so if you want to change the java version also you can follow the same steps so here's my jdk 8 and i will install this first take some time no.
it will take some time I think uh, 30 minutes or uh, 30 seconds sorry now oh, one minute so now check recheck the folder where the JDK is installed so just to remove this PC and uh, C drive under the C drive you have to check the program files folder in this program file folder the Java folder is there. so JREC is gone and uh, let's wait to uninstall this completely now and just replace the folder If you see the JDK is not there, yeah, JDK is not there, and see the page. Still, the folder is there, but inside the bin there is nothing. So now I need to uninstall the JDK again. So now, if you find the, if you enter the command like this, how then it will not show. <coughs> like it's not getting the path, so. Let's install it in your machine. So I'm gonna edit my setup of JDK. So Java JDK. So whenever you download the JDK, you will get this kind of file, and you need to download JDK. I think it's an already in downloads. Forward to cancel. So when you click on the link, yeah the link when you in the link download link you will get the file which file will be like this 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 you will get this folder you need to right click and just extract the folder you will get this jdk just double click on the file <coughs> if you see a pop up just place uh, just press a yes button It's showing me Nedwin ID at uh, one zero is already installed in your machine. Next click Project JDK. So I think it's getting the path of that folder. So I need to delete this. So I'm gonna again move to the same location. So the Java. <coughs> I can delete this. Yeah. Now if I click on the next, it will take that folder again. And click on next. Click on install. Once the process is done, uh, it will show the installation complete successfully. Just click on the finish. And now, again, check the folder. You will get the new JDK there. So, program files, program, and uh, Java folder inside folder JDK. And you can see the JRE as well. So, uh, you can use uh, this to install JDK and follow the very first step of the project configuration. So in the next video, I will we will follow the next step. So just continue the I will continue the tutorial and uh, do that uh, uh, divide that configuration into multiple parts. So uh, in this video, you have seen how can we uh, configure the core platform of the project. Like we can say the Java uh, Java we are going to run this project on Java. So uh, we are say, we are just creating the platform Java in, inside the window machine. So in this video, now uh, in the next video, I will continue the installation how to configure the IDE. In the in the very in the next video, we will see how to import the project in your IDE and the server configuration and the database configuration. That import database in MySQL Workbench. Then finally, in your project, if you get some kind of error, we will solve with the uh, error as well.